Guess who's back? Back again. If you watch the trailers, it isn't a spoiler. Gunji's back. G'day, welcome to the Nerdy Dad channel and my review of the Bad Batch episode, Try. Before I get to the episode details, can I just say that we have a lightsaber wielding Wookiee in this episode. Really, that's all this review needs. Go watch it. Tribe is the sixth episode of The Bad Batch Season 2, and it was directed by Stuart Lee and Brad Rao. Like most of the episodes so far this season, it's a standalone adventure of the week episode. That's what it is. That's what most of them have been. Unlike last week's episode, though, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this one. It's part of it that I like Jedi, I like Wookiees, and it's nice to see a character that we knew from the Clone Wars come back in. No doubt all of the above, but regardless of the reason, this episode really worked for me. Look, there's a bunch of themes running through all of Star Wars, but there's one that's been pretty striking to me so far in this season of The Bad Batch. They're both just kids, but they don't get to be. Not in this galaxy. This theme is particularly strong in Spoils of War, as, as well as this episode. And as I said in my review of Spoils of War, the focus is rightfully on Omega, because she is a child, and she, for want of a better word, presents as a child. I mean, I don't know how else to put it, because what the rest of the clones are, including the Bad Batch, really doesn't have a real-world equivalent. The Batch can't be more than sort of five years old. They're probably younger. Despite what being aged up by whatever process the Kaminoans use, they're kind of child soldiers in a way, even though we don't think of them like that. And even if we say they are properly mature adults, like they present, if nothing else, they didn't have a proper childhood themselves. I mean, not like the proper childhood that they're trying to give Omega, who is also literally older than them, which kind of makes your brain hurt. But suffice to say that Dooku, posing as Cypho Diaz, Palpatine and the Proto-Empire did a lot of damage to all of these characters long before their current difficulties with the Empire. And all Hunter wants, all he wants is to give kids like Omega and Gunji the type of normal childhood that he never had. I want to agree with Echo that the Bats should resist the Empire and they should help who they can. But as a parent myself, I can't help but empathise with Hunter. And all he wants to do is protect Omega. Anyway, going back to the fun stuff that doesn't need that much analysis. What about the Trandoshans? The Empire has been using them to strip the planet's resources. Many of the villagers have fled deeper into the jungle. They believe this planet belongs to the trees, and they are allies in this fight. We'll take all the allies we can get. Guess the trees knew what they were doing. Ooh. Oh dear, there was an environmental message. Burning down forests to extract resources bad, working with the forest good. Oh dear. They're not exactly subtle, are they? Still, despite all the messaging, and, and undertones, is I found this episode to be a lot of fun. And despite the fact that I really haven't focused on it in this review, the episode has plenty of action. I know I said it in an earlier episode, but the animation in this season is gorgeous. There are two very different settings this week, a space station and Kashyyyk. And just like with the beach at the start of the season, the team doing the environments have really outdone themselves with Kashyyyk. It's stunning. Just in case my enthusiasm isn't clear, I love this episode. Without trying to rank them, especially as these episodes are very different, I have tried right up there with the solitary clone from a few weeks ago. Look, I know I didn't give a blow by blow this week, so I didn't bother with a spoiler warning. However, I'm more than happy to um, continue the discussion of this episode including by individual story beat down in the comments. Oh, yeah, and you can watch another one of my videos up here somewhere and subscribe to my channel over here. This is the Nerdy Dad, signing off.